Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gjørgut. Today we're making a sweet pork salad with a uh, lime dressing. And it's a pork salad I had for the first time 18 years ago when I was on a honeymoon with my wife in Australia. And we went to a uh, small little restaurant, a Thai restaurant, I saw a Noosa called Spirit House. And since then, I've been pretty much making it myself. It's a wonderfully fresh, but still sweet salad and perfect for summertime. But before we have a look at all the ingredients, because there are quite a lot of them, do me the huge favor. If you're not subscribing to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now let's have a look. So I don't even know where to start. Let's start here. We have neck of pork. Uh, it's 600 grams. We have 125 grams of sugar. Here we have some star anise, three, six chilies, and some chopped or uh, well, sliced chilies that I'm just going to decorate with. We have about a tablespoon of palm sugar, and we have six, seven, eight, nine garlic cloves. You can go more or less depending on your love for garlic. We also have some fried shallot. It's these small shallots that we fried up, that's also decoration. Some toasted peanuts, crushed, also decoration. We have about a tablespoon of chopped coriander. We have a, what would this be, like half a cup of shallots. We have half a cup of lime juice, some salt. We have thin soy sauce, we have fish sauce and normal soy sauce. And we have about a cup each of coriander and mint leaves. And I picked them already. I've, I've done a lot of pre-prep. I roasted the peanuts, I chopped some coriander, I peeled the shallots, I did the roasted shallots. Um, but that's about it for the prep that I already did. Now we're gonna start with the meat. We're gonna cut it first, and then we're gonna boil it quickly. Well, we put it in with cold water, bring it to a boil. And in the meantime, while that's coming to a boil, we might do the dressing, but let's see how we go. But let's start with the meat. And with the meat, we're just gonna, basically we'll cut this in half, and then we'll make, uh, maybe we cut them in half too. Here. I would say these are the perfect size, so but you can make them bigger if you want. I wouldn't make them smaller. So let's cut up all our meat and then I'll show you how we boil them. Put this in a pot. Fill up with cold water. Put these over on the stove. And we just want to bring it to a boil. Now clean up the board and we can start with the last prep for the dressing. So the last thing we need to do for the dressing is just cut our sh shallots and we're just going to slice them. Relatively finely. So slice through all of your shallots. Uh, we'll put our coriander in here, our garlic, two pinches of salt, and our pepper, our chili pepper. I'll just cut it off a bit. Careful with what you do with your fingers afterwards. Because this will probably stay in for a couple of hours at least. So don't touch your eyes or your nose or any other sensitive parts. And our pork neck is almost boiling, so we're almost ready with that. So we're gonna pound this up. Just 
start slow so that it doesn't jump out. And the goal is to reach a paste-like consistency. The pork is boiling. As you can see, we're just gonna strain this off in a strainer. And it looks like this, a bit gray, a bit distasteful, but we're gonna make it look really nice and taste even better. But before we continue with our pork, let's finish this. Now, I'm happy with that, we'll leave that there. Measure up three tablespoons of fish sauce. Two, three. Put our palm sugar in there to dissolve. And we can put our lime juice in as well. And we can try to help this along a little bit. So now we can scrape in our paste. and our shallots from before. And we stir this all together. And we have our dressing ready. Now, let's move over there and make our sweet pork. This is what happens when you uh, think you have it all under control. I forgot to press record on the camera, but it's not that bad. I'll go through the steps with you. We put our 125 grams of sugar in here and two, uh, two tablespoons of water. We let that become a caramel. And then we added our star anise. We added two tablespoons of fish sauce. And we added one tablespoon of normal soy and one tablespoon of light soy. And then we added our pork. And this is where we are now. And now we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes and I'm happy with this so we're going to take them now and now what we'll do is we'll just put them on here let them cool down so I'll see you once these are cool so they have cooled down one fell through I'll just put them in a bowl And I couldn't help myself, I've had a couple of them already. Because they're so good. And in the bowl we put all our herbs. And our potent, beautiful dressing. Now in with your hands. Make sure that you mix this all up. This is a salad to my liking. And there we are. Now I will clean up my hands a bit. But before we plate this up, if you stuck with it this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So this time with dirty thumbs, hit that thumbs up button below. It's just down there, it takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me. So please do that. But now let's plate this up. We'll get our plate. Get a bit on there. Some of our toasted peanuts and some fried shallots. And last but not least, some chili. And that's our Sweet pork salad. Let's dig in. <clears throat> Let's see if this is as good today as it was 18 years ago. This is fantastic. A perfect mix between heat, sourness, sweetness. It's really refreshing. A bit of nice crunch there from both the peanuts and the fried shallots. And do with the chilies what you want. You know, if you don't like spicy food, then put a bit less. Maybe just put one instead of six. But it needs it. Mm. 
And I know I have some viewers in countries where you don't eat pork. You could do this with chicken thigh. Maybe, um, maybe short rib, like beef, could work as well. You want something that's a little bit fatty. Heaven on earth. Perfect dish for a warm day. And that was it for today. If you have any questions about the dish, leave them in the comments below or any comments about the episode as such. I'm always quick at answering. And before we go, don't forget, if you're not subscribing yet, hit the subscribe, check the bell icon so you get notifications. But that's it for this time. Oh, and apologies for missing to film the beginning of the pork. Sometimes shit just happens. Take care. Bye-bye.